Welcome to my lecture online. Now we're going to tackle something that's a little bit more complicated. A first order partial differential equation that has both of the partial derivatives. In other words, if we use the general form of a first order differential equation and we keep both a and b, neither one of them is zero, so that both of these stay intact, how do we solve a differential equation like that? We're going to use the special case where c and r are going to be zero to make it somewhat workable. So in this case, we're going to get a times the partial of u with respect to x plus b times the partial of u with respect to y equals zero. So if we're going to do that, we're going to solve the equation with the assumption that we can find the function in terms of the function of p, just like what we've seen before, to make things a little bit easier. We're the function of p is a function of x and y. So what we're going to do now is write the partial of u respect to x in terms of p, which is the ddp of the function of p times the partial of p respect to x. We do the same for the partial of u respect to y, which is the derivative with respect to p of the function of p times the partial of p with respect to y. We're now going to take that and plug that into our equation right here. So instead of writing the partial view with respect to x, we're going to write this. And instead of writing the partial view with respect to y, we're going to write this again, where this and this is going to go to zero. So instead of having this big long equation, which would be very difficult to solve, we're going to set c and r equal to zero. And so therefore, we end up with a special case that looks like this. Now we're going to factor out the derivative with respect to p of the function of p on the right side, and then we end up with this in the brackets, so it's a times the partial of p with respect to x plus b times the partial of p with respect to y. So therefore, instead of having the partial of u with respect to x and the partial of u with respect to y, we have the partial of p with respect to x and the partial of p with respect to y, and then we have the derivative with respect to p of f of p equal to zero. Now, that means that either what's in the bracket is equal to zero or this is equal to zero. Of course, if this is equal to zero, we don't have much of a solution, so we're going to take a look at what's inside the brackets and set that equal to zero. Now we're also going to require that p remains constant as we vary x and y. So we're going to pick a specific x and y so that p remains constant. If p remains constant, then the change in p must be equal to zero, and therefore we can write the change of p as the partial of p with respect to x times dx, plus the partial of p with respect to y times dy, and set it equal to zero. Now, if we take this equation and divide it by this equation, if we do that, notice that the partial of p with respect to x and the partial of p with respect to y will cancel out, and we end up with dx divided by a and dy divided by b, and that must equal zero since both of these equations equal zero. And once we have it in this format, then we can use it to integrate, then we can integrate this to find p, which is essentially what we're looking for. Instead of finding u, we want to find p, which is a function of x and y, that will then be the solution to our original differential equation that has both a and b not equal to zero, in the special case that c and r equal zero. So this is the general approach of how we're going to solve this, and we're going to use, utilize this final result to show you how to utilize and how to solve partial differential equations that have both of the partial derivatives in them. And that is how it's done.